All right, now check this out. This is the stomach. That's the uh, exterior coating of the stomach. This over here is the interior of the stomach. You see this one? All those little balls in there. And this, that's what the stomach is all about. And um, let me show you something on Earth. All right, this is Vermilion Cliffs. And there's a little video I'm going to show you in a second. Fabulous. That is that stomach lining or um, exterior. And there's a guy walking on Vermilion Cliffs. It's the same stuff. It's, it, is, it is identical. And there's much more to this than that. This is the stomach inside. Now, I don't know if this is a Vermilion Cliffs, but it might be. I don't know. Somebody sent me that. Um, and of course you saw that it was the same as the inside of the stomach. This is just more stomach tissue. That's, it has a, a lot of red blood in it. You got a lot of blood action going on down there. And um, this, is, um, this is what they call interstitial has these balls and straps and the mucosa at the top and here's what it looks like when it's on the side of the ocean in the United Kingdom there's the mucosa this is the red bloody stuff with all the balls in it it all washed away the red bloody stuff turned into mud the balls don't erode because they're very very tough these are the Moki marbles and they're the same as these balls here only they were in a smaller creature and they might have been in a different location, but I don't think so. I think they're the same place in the body. And this is the basement layer underneath. So everything, all this stuff is washed away. And all that's left is the balls. And there's some mud over in this area over here. I don't show it in this picture, but that is biology, my friends. And this is absolutely enormous. This, that's in uh, Huntington's Beach or Huntington Cliff, something like that, over in the United Kingdom. This is not a joke. This is reality. And we have to deal with it one way or the other. You just can't just laugh at this as being silly. It's, a, it's absolutely stunning, no question about that. But silly? No, no, it's not silly. Okay, this is Smithsonian Magazine. Beautiful drone video captures rarely visited area of Arizona's Vermilion Cliffs. That's where the stomach lining is in all this. Now, this is by Dana Cohn. And this is from 2014, and uh, she did this video, very nice, and um, let's take a look at it. Here we go. Fair Use Act. Not trying to steal anything from anybody. And this is drone footage. It's, it's nicely done. And you can see this is all biology. Now, you saw what the stomach you know, coating looked like. And it just seems to have a whole lot of blood in the stomach tissue. Look, look at this. That's not just accidental landscape. Why these things are not examined, I, you know, and the geologists just, like it never happened. The things I show cannot be denied, and uh, the stuff I have, uh, some of it's DNA tested and CAT scan and everything else, and it's just refused to be examined, just like this stuff. They come up with some kind of, I, don't, I have no idea how they justify themselves anymore. And they know right now that I presented these things to all the major colleges, or Yale, Harvard, all of them, every one of them, basically. And I've been turned away basically everywhere. There's no way to deny this anymore. Right now, you know, these kids are paying absolutely unbelievable amounts of money to go to college to learn geology and biology and chemistry and physics and all that stuff. And not a single bit of it is true anymore. And they refuse to examine any of it. So I don't see education as being education. I see education as being subservience to say, I will do what you tell me to do as long as you give me that piece of paper and then you tell people I'm smart. And if you don't say what they tell you to say, they'll tell people you're stupid and they'll keep your money. So it's time to stop this and start paying attention to 
Mud Fossil University. It's basically the only university on the planet now that's got substantial evidence to support what's being said.